Are you struggling to build muscle on a vegan diet? Stay tuned because I've got you covered with my ultimate high protein mass gaining smoothie. If you're looking for more high protein vegan recipes, check out my new ebook, link is in the description. Let me introduce you to the fellas. On a bulk protein pad is always handy. I'm gonna use one scoop of this Vivo Life Perform. I'm using the Madagascan vanilla flavor here. You can get 10% off Vivo Life products with my code and the link in the description box. I'm gonna be using 750 mils of soy milk. I've got 50 grams of oats. I've got a can which is 240 grams of cannellini beans. I've got 150 grams of dates. You can use any dried fruit of your choosing. I've got a quarter of a yellow and quarter of a red pepper just to add some antioxidant action. I've also got 25 grams of cooked kale. I find if I have that raw, it gives me digestive distress, so best cooked. Half an avocado. I've got one and a half tablespoons of almonds, one and a half tablespoons of chia seeds, and one and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder. For that chocolatey goodness. Who is it? What do you want? We're trying to do a video. Get out of here. Go on. Scat. <laughs> He's gone. I think you probably know what's coming next. You just stick it all in a smoothie maker. Boom. I find it's best to put the powdery and like tiny little seeds and things in first, or sometimes they sit on the top and they get stuck to the sides. The dried fruit is really important, if not you'll end up tasting the vegetables and that's not a good thing to taste. Yep. 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 <laughs> nice and sweet and chocolatey. There is a slight undertone of vegetables, you know, we do need to get some vegetables in there so if you're really trying to pack on the mass, it's hard to eat tons and tons and tons of volume if you're eating like healthy, fiber rich food. So what I would say is experiment with the amount of vegetables in there. Start with a lesser amount and perhaps build it up over time and see how you find it. To me, this tastes pretty nice. Like it's mostly just a sweet chocolatey um, taste. Anyway, we'll go over to Chronometer now and we'll see what the nutrient profile is like. Okay, so we're on the Chronometer app. I've plugged in the foods and the uh, amount of each. So we've got the Vivo Life Perform Protein, one scoop. Got the soy milk, oats. I've put red kidney beans instead of cannellini because on Chronometer, they don't list all the nutrients, only about 14 or 16 at the most for cannellini, but this has got like 80-ish nutrients. It's showing you all the things. Uh, so anyway, that's all the things that I ate. So it was 16, 80 cows, thereabouts. 238 grams of carbs, 55 grams of fat. You'll see the omega-3, you only need 0.1 of a gram more to get the, uh, the male RDA of that. So that was nearly all your omega-3 for the day. Protein, 92 grams. So hard to get protein on a vegan diet. Again, just in one meal there, B vitamins, like at least half, sometimes like 1.7 times the RDA, uh, vitamin A, tons, vitamin E. See, everything is at least half of what you want. Some things are like double. Here's all the minerals, a bit of calcium for the day, copper, iron, manganese, phosphorus for the day, nearly all my magnesium, and then potassium, selenium, sodium, and zinc. 60 odd percent. So there you have it, tons of calories in an easy to assimilate format, easy to consume and you know be absorbed into your system. Tons of protein, chock full of vitamins and minerals. Whoever says a vegan diet is lacking really hasn't got a clue have they? So from my perspective you know I had a legume, I had whole grains, I had fruits, vegetables, you know seeds, all the good stuff. It's like a complete meal, but just in the drinkable, easy to assimilate format. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.